Look at what friends. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit because at the end of the day, man, the only gatekeeper I believe in is God. For sure, for sure. Man. For sure. So any for sure. niggas that got some type of notoriety, whatever, whether it be like in Baltimore or somewhere else, you know, you know, the mainstream mm -hmm. circuit. I don't give a fuck, man. Cause can't nobody stop with 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 destined for me. Yeah, you know what for I'm sure, for sure. Cause like you said, like as far as gatekeepers, like I don't really, I don't look to that. You know what I'm saying? Like I know a lot of people might look to it, like yo, who controlling this? So I could, like try getting good with them, and I, I could give a fuck. Like I don't yeah. really, you know what I'm saying? Cause at the end of the day, like you said, yo, it's God, yo, it's any given Sunday out here, and then when it's your time, it's your time. Yeah, you know absolutely. what I'm saying? You just gotta learn that patience. And and and, and that's, I mean, that's important. I mean, and. It's okay to have that one guy you just need, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. when I'm looking for a team and, and, and I'm looking to see who's doing, who's making moves, I want a particular person to back me up. For sure. But that's it. For you sure. know what I'm saying? And if it don't even go down that way, like, I'll I'll continue to do what the fuck I've been doing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Oh, you can have one of these, bro. Oh, appreciate yours. I, I watched them too. Hey, yo, so. but I, I I mean I see we both grab. Oh the gold. shit! So great minds think alike. Yeah, man. <laughs> cheers. I got the little bitch though. Wait, no, it's all good. This <laughs> ain't even. This ain't even the big one. So it's all good. Yeah, no, no. And I seen oh, that you drink who is a Quavo for real. Yo, it's my girl, yo. It's fucking Cam. I did not drink tequila before I started messing with Cam. That's for me. real. Yo, it's Cam. Yeah. Cause yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I thought that was pretty interesting. Now, now look, I'll say this. I get who is a Quavo on one of those off week. Mm -hmm. Days that I don't get paid that week, but for the most part, bro, I drink Henny for real. Like, Yo, me too. So like, ever since we started like dating or whatever, mm -hmm. like, I don't know. I guess that like habit of drink I picked up for real from her. So I cut back on a Henny. Like I buy a Henny here and there for real, mm -hmm. but it's like tequila is more so like if I'm just going in the store to grab something quick for real. Mm -hmm. So now you know, but yeah, that's all I fucking can. Like everybody, everybody and their mother know I drink. Henny, Henny and Brown, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All that shit, yeah. So well, that makes sense, man, because a lot of women drink um tequila. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it makes sense, man. You know what I'm saying? You, it is what it is. I mean, it still puts you in a place of a fucking uh, I don't know, man. You you a, a drunk is a drunk is a drunk. Yeah, you know what right, I'm saying? right, right, right. Now it's different types of drunk. You know what I'm saying? Henny just got a whole different element to it. Yo, because I was actually <laughs> I was thinking about that on the way over here. I was saying, yo. Like, you know, like I've been making music, like, these last few months for real. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I like it, but it's something about it that where, like, I'm like, ah, oh, I just need something. Like, I got to go back and do something because it just needs something. Mm -hmm. But when I'm on, when I'm drinking Henny, oh, that bitch be a hit off the rip. Yeah, like, yeah, it be yeah, like yeah. everything be right there. I'm like, maybe I need to... I need to backtrack a little bit, get back on my shit because Nah, that Henny, that Henny definitely do wonders for real. Man. Yeah, it, it, put it, you it, in a different bag. Yeah, it's like it's like when Super Mario take the mushroom and shit. He just yo, yeah, you know I mean he's a giant. Yes, you know what I'm saying. But nah, man, it's all good, bro. Like, damn, you know what? Initially, man, my whole idea for this shit was to buy niggas the drinks that they drink. And I'm going to get to that point, but I mean, niggas got hey, bills. Bro, listen, look, listen, listen. When I seen the title, I said, I have to be a part of this. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be a part mm -hmm. of this. Like, this is my type of vibe. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I don't do a whole lot of smoking. But everybody know, mm -hmm. you feel me? You trying to grab a drink, holler at me. I'm, there, I'm right there with you, you feel me? Like, that's my thing. For real. And it's, that's my shit, too. It's so sad that. Niggas kind of just know me for that. Mm -hmm. And I be, I be looking at it like, yo, don't everybody drink? Everybody, I must drink more than everybody else, though. Yeah, so. but essentially, everybody drinks for real. That's Even if up. they smokers, everybody be out here drinking. But, you know, mm -hmm. it is what it is. Well, shit, nigga, this is episode eight. The yes, Liquor sir. with Friends. I got my man, my nigga, my guy, Chris Cassius. Yes, sir. One of the dopest um, up-and-coming... MCs, lyricists, rappers, whatever title you want to give artists. You know what I'm saying? He's one of the dopest in the city for real. I appreciate um, that. I think he's one of the leaders of the new school. Um, I've always seen your name. I mean, even like back in the day, you know, when I was rapping, I was, you know, engaging with me and shit like that. Mm -hmm. um, but then I was just so busy. I never really had time to listen to nobody. Yeah, shit. for sure. For you. sure. For sure. But you was the first rapper I seen out here with a blue check. 
That, oh, that's man. one thing. Like, that was like, I don't know. I can't say, you feel me, like, who had the first blue check out here. You feel me? But I will say, you was the first one I seen with the blue check. I'm like, damn, who the fuck is you? Bro, and and then I just, you know me, I did my homework. I'm like, damn, this is crazy. Bro. Yeah. No, that shit was crazy to me because niggas is bu buying blue checks. Yeah. I didn't buy yeah. it. I just woke up to that shit. Like, right. I had put a project out, um, Sons for High School Kids. Mm -hmm. It got mm -hmm. in the Baltimore Sun for, like, just a review. Mm -hmm. Then, like, a couple days after, you know what I mean, just a random morning, I woke up, got an email from Twitter, and just was like, congratulations, your account's been birth verified. <laughs> so I was dragging That's my nuts big shit. time, yeah, yo. I was sure, dragging my nuts. Sure. That's hard as shit. Bro, listen, and around that time, I was like, I'm turning 34 this year. Mm-hmm. Around that time, I think I was like 26, 27. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So when I got that blue check, bro, I was, yo, I'm trying to tell you the, the shit I was getting myself into just because <laughs> my shit, you know what I mean, had the blue and check. And that's back when, like, it really, like, everybody was like, well, that blue check means like, because yeah. they didn't really have the opportunities to buy it like that back then. They was around, but they were scarce. Now you can just wake up and, you feel me, spend $20, $30, and you got a blue check. Mm -hmm. But back then... Like, that shit, you had to be somebody to know the nigga that even gets you one. Right. You feel me? So, like, yeah. that shit really meant something. And I was like, wow, like, who the fuck is this nigga? Yeah. You feel me? And I would dip my homework. And I'm like, damn. Like, I can really, you feel me? Like, I was already rapping I never, then. I but, never knew niggas be, like, really watching. Like, yo, you no. Said, like, when you knew who I was, for real, I ain't gonna hold you. Because I never had that, I never had that type of ego where I thought, I felt like niggas should know who the fuck I was. Mm -hmm, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like I never carried myself like that. So when you, when I caught wind of like your music in the summertime, and started like really, really going listening to your shit, mm -hmm. and then you was like showing me a lot of love. I'm like, damn, like <laughs> niggas really like yeah, been watching man. for real. So hit, I respected bro. you like even more from that from mm -hmm. that moment. So mm -hmm. that's that's dope, bro. Um, shit, man. So. Even from that time up to now, man, like, what has changed with you? Like, what is, like, what, what's happened in your career as far as from the, the time you started until now, you finally getting, like, the uh, the recognition that you're getting? And um, I feel like you deserve a lot more because, bro, you, yo, the, you've you been sending me songs and records and shit, yeah. <laughs> and your range is crazy. Like, yeah. you just don't do one thing. You, you are, it's a lot of layers with your, like, your creativity. For sure. Yeah. I, I, I try, well, out the gate, I came into it with that being, you know, like, a target for me was to be versatile. Like, people would always ask my sound. I'm just like, yo, I want to do so much. That mm -hmm. I can't really put a sound on it. I mean, maybe I sound like where I'm from, but that's the best I can do for you, for real. Like, if we gonna, if you want me to label my sound or whatever, I'm going to just have to say it's versatility. Like, I try my hardest to, like, if I go in a session, say I book a studio session, we four hours in. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to, every time we start something new, it don't sound like what we did before at all. You know what I'm saying? Like, I will come out of the studio with four or five completely different sounding songs, and... You know, you got some people that will say, like, that's a bad thing. Mm -hmm. But I feel like it's so many artists out right now, underground, mainstream and all, that, mm -hmm. like, they got, like, this range about them mm -hmm. that's just, like, how can you tell me what I'm doing is wrong? How can you tell me that I got to, like, focus in on one specific crowd or something like that when yeah. you got so many people that do so much? Like, why would I do that? Why would I limit myself? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, 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 I get... I get that philosophy and where it came from because it, it was it times was different at one point. You know what I'm saying? So you had to be able to like figure out what exact sound worked and go with that. I respect that. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. the game is it's evolved. You know what I mean? And I'm gonna say one thing that um I went like like that changed from when I started to now is um well I'm gonna say a few things. Okay, so my my biggest one is I've always had a problem with like accepting help you know what i'm saying because uh, i just had this I'm like just talking about that bro. yeah like i, got, I had this pride like i just had so much pride and i ain't want nobody to be able to say like oh you owe me something more you know what i mean like i just had that mindset about myself when i was younger and it was just like mm -hmm. it took for it took a bit and this is recent like i'm just like you know making progress with this but it's like it really took a lot of conversations and just a lot of networking for me to really sit back and be like, yo, I can't do it all on my own. Like, you can't, bro. And 
here's the here's the thing with with this is how I look at it. Once you put out some records and you see that people are like extending like positive feedback mm -hmm. and then you're confident in yourself, mm -hmm. you really don't have nothing to prove to yourself. You know you are capable of writing the craziest record ever. You know what I'm saying? You know how to rap. Mm -hmm. You know how to you know how to create. Look at my friends. Even the greatest players in the world need somebody to take something out of them that they couldn't really tap into themselves. Yeah, they they sure. needed somebody to kind of navigate them to yeah. the destination. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And like, shit, even Floyd Mayweather, that nigga, that nigga is 50 and 0. Mm -hmm. That nigga ain't fired his coach once he got the 20 wins, mm -hmm. once he got the 30 wins, once he got the 40, once he got the 50, he still got the same training. Yeah, training sure. staff. You for know sure. what I'm saying? For sure. He ain't get to the, to the, he ain't get to his, uh, 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 the pinnacle of, you know what I mean? Like the limit, or whatever he had to reach to and, and become the greatest fighter arguably like of all time and just said I don't need you niggas no more mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying and, and and that's one thing like niggas gotta kind of kind of delete out there like their, their, their thinking like their mindset of like oh I don't need nobody I mean like I used to think like that but you know what I'm saying like I did a couple of projects and I'm like at this point bro Whatever type of ideas I can take from my my friends and mm -hmm. shit, I'm 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 open to listen to them. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah, open for, for sure. Suggestions. For sure. Like it's records. Like on oh God, it's records on one of my projects, bro. One of my best friends at the time gave me four bars. Oh, that's you, great. Four yeah. bars. That's like tough. maybe an opening bar, that's maybe tough. even the last that's four tough. bars. You I've know what actually saying? had I my um my homegirl No Face. She mm -hmm. she did that. For a, a song that I just recently put out, I, I recorded it probably over a year ago now. But um, the, uh, what is it? DBS. When I, I, I did DBS and Carl Malone for real. She gave me like, she gave me the tempo and like the first few lines of DBS, like yeah. the first like two three lines for real. Like she just was like listening to the beat. I'm like, hey, what, what do you think I could do with this? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And honestly, that's a process that I do often where like I'll just like. It's either it's either my homegirl No Face or my man's um Ben Danklin and I'll send him something like yo like what's a concept you think you could hear over this or something like that or like mm -hmm. what's the approach you think and then just pitch an idea and then I just run with it and you know it comes out to be whatever it comes out to be but you know like those are have always been people that I've trusted with their opinion right. with my gotta music. be somebody you know like what I mean that. yeah like, for sure yeah 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 so Not everybody but one sure. thing I had to learn was to be accepting of the people. That I may not have known for years, mm -hmm. but I can tell they have good intention. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. I can't, I can't, because I, I had a problem with like being like, nah, this motherfucker bullshit, and they ain't trying to help me. They just trying to be around or some shit. Like, yeah, and it yeah. wouldn't matter what they said, what they was trying to do. I just didn't want to hear that shit because I had been let down so many times. At, you know what I mean? Like growing up or mm -hmm. whatever with like the music and just life in general or whatever. So. Like, I, I developed a stigma, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I had to, like, shake that off, and I'm just like, you know, like, for instance, K. Like, I've known K since, um, K being Be More Alien, for people that don't know, is on Twitter, and he's responsible for, like, 808 and Sad Boys and all the shows that everybody attends at The Crown on Friday, like, the first Fridays every month. I'm catching on. Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. I, I had to be accepting of the fact that he was being genuine when he would come to me with these ideas or, like, we would have conversations or whatever. And I think that was like the first, the fir very first moment where I wasn't super, super close with somebody, but I, I like, I identified that their intentions was good. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Because he managed me now. So, okay. and it was, it was like, I feel like I, I, I crossed a, a big threshold within myself. You know what I'm saying? Because we didn't have like super history or nothing. I, I've known K since like November of, I think. 2018 or 20, I think it's 2018. That was my first 808 and Sad Boy show. Okay. And um, from then on, he just like kept this like like communication line open where it was just like you know like you can tell when people being genuine with you for real. Even with the my first show, I had hit him in January of that year, and I was like, yo, I'm trying to get on the show. He like, yo, to be honest, I'm booked like I'm booked up crazy right now. Mm -hmm. But and it, this is what what got me. I'm like, he like um. We can we gonna talk in like November. Mind you, I said it's like January. Really? He like we gonna talk in November, and I'm gonna put you on something. 
I'm like, cool, Jesus, bet. He was now, like that? bro, he was but like, like that's what I'm saying. But in my mind, you gotta think where I'm thinking from. Like, I'm like, nah, this nigga bullshit. He just told me November. It's fucking January. This right? Shit, bro. Yeah, like, I would take it as such. You like, know what I mean, bro? He DM me in November. Wow. I, and he DM me in November, bro. I remember it like like yesterday. He he DM me, bro. Yeah. He hit he hit my DM, and he told me to line up. He showed me the flyer, all that shit. I'm like, all right, bet. Like, and since then, you feel me? Like I said, he just kept like this communication line open, and we just, you know, what I mean, that's my that's my brother now. But yeah. you know, it, it it was like an eye opener for me. So from then on, I've done my best to like really learn this lesson. So where to the point now, I have like a small team of people that you know they help curate the music and come up with these ideas, and we figure out things like the rollouts and how much time we need to take between, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, release to release and what we need to do and what visuals should look like. And you know what I mean? Like, just the the, yeah. the, the intricate shit. I mean, that's that's really, I mean, that's how it would be when you get to a certain, like, level of success. Like, you're, you're not going to be able to do everything on your own. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you're going to need a team that's going to just help you in every little element possible. You know what I'm saying? And there's no shame in that. Cause everybody win when everybody is just doing that part. Mm -hmm. Everybody got yeah. a responsibility. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You might have a nigga that send the emails to the blogs. Right. You right. might have a nigga that um, book the shows or mm -hmm. just talk to certain people about. You know, like all right, I got this artist. I'm managing whoop de whoop. You know what I'm saying? He dope. Check his music out. You can't do all that shit on your own. Not at you all. Can't. Bro. Cause it's, at the end of the day, it's, it's only but so many hours in a day. I don't care. Yeah. If, I don't care if you sleep once a week. And you just stay up the rest mm -hmm. of the, the 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 six days out the week. It's no way you are gonna cover no. all bases by yourself. That you shit gonna happen. affect your creativity, bro. Yeah. You need to focus on just being an artist and being an artist only. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then once everybody understand what their roles are, everything is gonna fall in line. You know what I'm saying? Everything's gonna fall in line. And and one thing I can say, and 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 this is just speaking on like. The Baltimore scene right now, like you young niggas, is way better than the niggas in my generation because y'all are like just fighting for everybody for 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 each other. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like y'all yeah. got y'all moments yeah. where all right, you gonna do you, but you know what I'm saying? Like when it's time to get together and, and put up put on some shit, a yeah. dope show. Like y'all gonna put that shit together, man. Sure. Yes, y'all like a little. A, no, nah, not a little, but way more rebellious than us. Yeah. Like I said, like we was more conservative. A lot of niggas was stuck up in their ways. A lot of niggas only wanted to push for a certain period t uh, of time, but if they didn't see the results, mm -hmm. it was just one and done. Right, right, you right. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Y'all yeah. niggas is really like trying to like put on, I'll say so to speak. Y'all yep. niggas is putting on, like even when like 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 Taj and shit, man, like. I met him um, at the Crown in person, but I always knew about Taj because he manages my my my, my boy, um, my little bro Swayze Collins. Uh huh. Um, y'all niggas just got a whole different type of hunger yeah. that I feel like yo, y'all yeah. y'all really gonna pioneer some something different. It's like this this era is it reminds me of like 2013 2014 which was a really dope year in baltimore hip-hop you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? a yeah. lot of different creations yeah. started a lot of people a lot of creators came out at that at that year you know what i'm saying like og dutch master soda yeah um, and cocaine be, cowboys Bush of Dawson. Them, though, like they they was like i i, I think i got hip to a, what, like they had come up in, like, 2012. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. I seen the videos, and I seen, like, the different shows they was putting on and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And, like, I think PSA was OG Dutch Match, the first song or something like that. Like, that he put out, maybe? He had a video to it? Yeah. He had the, the, the bandana? Yeah, yeah, the yeah, little yeah, scarf. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, <laughs> that was the first time, and I was just, like, I was watching it. You know what I'm saying? Mind you, this is around, like, that ASAP period. You know what I'm saying? Like that ASAP, like when ASAP like was really hitting hard. Mm -hmm. So I was like blown away to have grown up here. And you know, our environment is what it is. Mm -hmm. And then to see him, whether whether you looking at it as and what he's saying, or even down to what he has on. Mm -hmm. Like I'm just like, damn. 
Like who? Like they from where I'm from? Like it was yeah, it was yeah. mind blowing. Like I'm just like, where the fuck are these people? Like right, where? What, right. Like what side of the city do I live on? <laughs> where I just don't see this because what the fuck is this? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. that was like that alone was a big inspiration. You know what I'm saying? And and that goes from basement rap all the way down to CC. Uh-huh, you know what I'm saying? Like uh-huh. they, they they was hella inspiring. You know what I mean? And to be able to be in at this point where, you know what I'm saying, like, the people that you see doing these things, like, I'm not even going to say idols, because I don't believe in idolizing things or anything of that nature, but I do believe in, you know what I mean, inspiration, and to be able to look at people that inspired me in a way, and to get to this point where they are peers, yeah, and they, they, yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying, they support what I do, it's crazy, that's, that's from you, the Dutch, the DZ, the uh, Butch, the fucking Soda, Ice, like, at that point in time when I was looking at it, I never thought about it being this way. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So I'm just looking at it like, damn, these niggas I see on YouTube and Twitter and they, they doing their thing. Like, I got to step my shit up because I want my shit to look like this. Yeah. To go from, you feel me, like, niggas is sitting in the studio together working on music and doing a little shit like that. Or I'm emailing songs to this person, that person. They emailing shit back. Like, it, 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 it was like, it was humbling. You know what I'm saying? In a sense for me because it was, it was showing me that we all on that same like plateau for real mm-hmm. and it don't hurt to like reach out speak to people network and do them types of things because right, right. you know when, where we come from it's like it make it kind of hard to talk to people you know what i'm saying or stuff like you don't just want to approach no random person right, all right, the time right. you know right, what i'm right. saying but with them it was different like like uh uh for instance my first show my first show in 2016 i had never performed before your first show was in 2016? My first show was 2016. And Jeez. I had been rapping for a few, like, a few years before that. Maybe, like, three three to five years before that. Before 2012, like, I had just, like, recorded my first song for real. So, and, and what held me back from doing it too, too early, bro, was I was, um, I had, I had stage fright bad as shit. You know what I'm saying? I had stage fright bad and shit. So, my <laughs> mans, like, I was in a little rap collective. My mans would go do shows and shit, and I'm just like, ah. I can't get up there. Yo. Nah, nigga, I watch your clips, bro. You, you don't, yo. Let me tell you something. What's crazy? I got stage fright. Mm-hmm. I never shaking out of that. Like, yo, I will never. never. And I and and you know what's crazy? Like drinking mm-hmm. kind of helps yeah. me with that shit. Yeah. You feel what I'm For saying? Sure. And people be like, nigga, you did good. I'm like, Dog, I'm glad you said Thank that. Thank you. Right. <laughs> right. I be like, nigga, I was scared as a bitch. Yo, for real, for real. Yeah. And people be like, yo, nigga, you just transformed when you get on stage. It's like, nigga, I got you. I'm fighting for my motherfucking yo, life. Yo, for <laughs> That's how I feel. Like. Heart, heart pounding. What? You're like, damn. Oh. And, then, and then when a nigga, a couple niggas come on before you. Here's the thing, nigga. Imagine, I don't know if you ever seen soda mm-hmm. and ice. And OG Dutch Master, they they under they came under me, like yeah, not right. under me, but they was after, after my generation. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Class, yeah. And Al Rogers was a little bit after me too. Imagine like going to a show, you know what I'm saying? I'm still active for real around this time. You mm-hmm. watch niggas like Al, Soda, Ice, OG Dutch Master perform. And mm-hmm. these niggas just like they all over the motherfucking right, right, place. Right. Like, and in your mind, are, no disrespect to them, but they the little niggas. Like, yeah, they, yeah, 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 right. And they, and they all over the place. And I'm like, <laughs> God damn, I never seen no fuck. And Butch, that, oh my fucking God, bro. That nigga different. I, that nigga super different, but I seen this nigga perform from like 2013 up until this point. Mm-hmm. He wasn't always like how he is now. No, he this wasn't. nigga looked like he would die on that stage, yeah, right? Yeah. And I'm like, oh yeah. my god, nigga, he, he like, leave it all up there, yo, for real, and right? Like even right now, like that's one of the most, like that's a big inspiration. Like seeing mm-hmm. him perform, mm-hmm. no matter what size the crowd, but seeing him perform and like the energy he put out and like how 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 hard he go with that shit, yo. I be like, yo, I gotta kick this up a notch, bro. Right, I have to, like. But you gotta keep it, Chris Cassius. For sure, I gotta give it my own. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I gotta make sure you feel me when they look at it. They like, oh damn, like this shit was good as his shit. You know what I mean? They just do what they do. Like he does what he does. And you know what I mean? Like I don't wanna, I don't wanna imitate it all. Right, right, you know right, what I'm right, right. I just wanna, I wanna feel like I walked off the stage with that same impact. You know what I'm saying? Like right, I right, gotta right. give it that same impact. And I and, and and that comes with figuring out what I need to do to elevate my show. Right, you know right, what I'm right. Saying? So 
That's all that is. Shit, crazy, bro. Look at my friends. This, this, this is crazy, bro. Like, your progression. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Like one day, <laughs> one day I went on, um, cause I like, I'm like a student, not a student. I'm a student of the game, mm -hmm. but I'm also like, when I start like rapping heavy, like that was the most like. I would say like that was the best. The, these are the best times of my life because mm -hmm. I'm able to be a fan. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Versus fully when you 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 know you you can rap and be a fan of your peers, but you can't really put that much attention nah, into what your peers is doing. It always it always going to boil down to competition. It's, it's all always comp going to boil down to competition. Always competition. So now I can be a fan. I can push niggas, like, heavily push niggas and shit like that. And I always was pushing niggas when I was rapping, too. But, like, in the earlier stages of my career, I wasn't pushing niggas too much. Yeah, I was, course, like, I was trying to be the motherfucking, the motherfucking best rapper in, in Baltimore, for real. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. At a point. But now I can just sit back, like, yo, all right, niggas drop, son. I'm going to listen to that shit. You feel what I'm saying? All right, I fuck with that shit. Let's push this shit. Let's push that shit. Let's push that shit. Mm -hmm. Um... With that being said, um, I don't even know what the fuck I was getting at, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Take your time, yo. Hold up. Um, so with that being said, my nigga, like, when you, when you, when you, um, putting out your music and shit like that, and this is incoherent as shit. I'm just going to skip to a whole nother subject. I get back to that shit. I'm filling All my right. drink. I'm All filling right. my drink. Yeah, so, um, no, no, like, listening to your shit for real, bro, like, yo, bro, you dope as fuck, bro, like, I and, and I, yeah, bro, I really feel like you, you going to get to a point where niggas ain't got no choice, like, and I mean, like, everybody, like, you ain't even got to, like, reach out. Mm -hmm. Niggas just gonna play your shit on the radio. Like yeah, not saying yeah. that's your like your 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 end game or your short term goal, your right. long term goal, but you got some shit, man. Like and when I was watching that fucking battle, here's the thing. The battle between you and Trap John. Yes, sir. <sighs> I fuck with you. I ain't never never heard of a song he ever done. Yeah, so trap, it's more trap, so trap cool. Trap, it, that's my man, yo. Yeah, it was it was more so like I knew I knew what you was gonna come with right. based off of the shit that I heard and the shit that you sent me. Right. But it's more so like I never heard a record from him at all. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it was more so the shot factor with that. I'm like <laughs> this nigga is nice as shit. But Taj yeah. definitely uh, they oh, they yeah. definitely put a that was a that was a dope. Match up, like yeah, for match. sure. And you know what's crazy? Like, um, like I said, like my first show, like my hold on, I'm gonna jog back for two seconds and we're gonna get right back in this. So, yeah, yeah, like my first show was 2016. You know what I'm saying? It was uh, op it was called Open Art Mike, it was down Motor House, okay, over there. yeah, right Motorhouse. by the graffiti okay. alley and all that, right? Okay. So, I'm nervous, you feel me? I'm nervous as fuck. This is my first show, Palms is. Palms sweaty like I'm Eminem or some Nigga shit. Nigga said knees weak. You feel me? <laughs> Mom's spaghetti. She ain't cook. My mama ain't cook spaghetti that <laughs> night, so I was good. So, <laughs> so yo, like, all right. So I got, I got like who I was talking about before. I got No Face there with me. Um, Ben Danklin, uh, my nigga Bink. You feel me? The Bink, whole, the whole day. Uh, no, 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 not Bink bag that Bink backwood. That's this. Um, okay, that, okay, okay, okay. The, uh, okay. the clothing line. You feel oh, me? Oh, I know that. Yeah, yeah so, so I was had, or something. Yeah, right. so all in. So I had all. I had the whole clothing line with me for real. My 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 home girl, no, no face nine. You know what I'm saying? Like a couple of my mans was there. So when I get on stage, I'm like, yo, it's my first show. I'm a little nervous. Y'all bear with me for real. <laughs> They Did like, you say right. that? Yo, I said it on the mic. I swear <laughs> to God. I said, I, said, I, said it, I think it's video out here somewhere of me doing this. Yeah. Like, I said it, and I'm just like, damn, like, you know what I mean? I got to keep it G with y'all. So, you feel me? And rest in peace. Rest in peace to Mikey the Savage. You know what I'm saying? Like, Mike, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mikey definitely um was on, on the set. Like, we performed together, too, for real. And at the time, he was having a hell of a run, like... In 2016, I never knew how like bro, big he was, and, so, and, and and I know a lot of people didn't really get exposed until he passed, and they seen every like so many, you know what I mean, like different people talking about bro, like it was it was so crazy to watch his growth that I I went to advice I went to get advice from him at one point because he was like blowing up so fast 
You know what I'm saying? And we was somewhat peers at the time, so he he was blowing up. So I'm just like, bro, like, you know, like, just asking for pointers on different little shit. And he helped me out for real. And um, we made our song and whatever, and we performed that open art mic or whatever. But um, after I get off stage, mind you, I had this song at the time called Hit My Church. I had already put it out before the show. So I, it dropped. Crowd goes crazy. Like crazy. To the point where, yo, like I'm standing there with the mic, like looking like you niggas really? know this shit. Like, like really? yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm standing there, you feel me? I do that, boom, get off. First person I see is DZ. DZ, like, yo, you killed that shit. Mm. You feel me? First person I seen. Mm. Me and yo had never even spoke before. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I got off stage and he, like, yo, you killed that shit. Like, you really Shut just did that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. Hold on. Damn, I'm losing my motherfucking way. What was we mm -hmm. talking about? Your first show, 2016. Uh-huh. Mike Savage was on the bill, too. Uh-huh. You, you performed. You was nervous as shit. But you did good. Black Z. Yeah. So, yeah, right. you did good. So, you feel me? Like, sheep, like man. yeah, yeah, sheep. But, uh, damn, I forgot. What, no, it was a reason we talked about this. <laughs> This it, might been be the We might drunkest. gotta slow down, yo. This might be the drunkest episode. Hold on. I was drinking before I pulled up on you. Yo, I wasn't. This the couple shots of the Cuervo got me. Uh oh, shit, man. Alright, so yeah. but look. <laughs> and even still, we're gonna pick the ball up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, we freestyle. We're gonna pick the ball up. So saying that was like, you know what I mean? Like going back to saying like how my, my peers and like my nah, like people who inspired me became peers and shit like that. That was like my first like on hand experience with that, you know what I'm saying? Because for him to like, for me to get off stage, I know who he is. I know he has no idea who I am, but just to see what I just did and be like, "Yo, that shit was like," I'm like, "Damn!" So maybe I'm I'm, I'm really doing something right. And and them niggas was happy at the time. Yeah, yeah. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. They they are your peers. You yeah, feel what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, these sure. are the hottest niggas, and you might not necessarily give a fuck about what they think, mm -hmm, but the mm -hmm. fact that. You know how dope these niggas are, and yeah, they praise sure. you. You feel what yeah, I'm saying? Sure. Like it speaks yeah. volumes. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Cause they had to do that. They can be some At niggas all, on stuck bro. up niggas on like, oh, all right, this nigga bro. cool. Cause sometimes, yo, when you as talented as you are, niggas is not really gonna give it up to you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. your ego get in the way. Yeah, which is crazy. It's fucked up, but I feel like like love is is an investment. Like when you spread love and you in this in this all you know it's, it's shared amongst. Real niggas, real niggas gonna look mm -hmm. out, yo. Look, mm -hmm. look at Atlanta, bro. Yeah. Superstar is built off love, bro. Everybody, oh, like, I feel like everybody, even on the underground from Atlanta, it's artists that we have yet, that have yet, like, scratched the surface. Mm -hmm. But they coming. Mm -hmm. Because niggas like T.I., Jeezy, uh, 2 Chains, Lil Baby, they all know they are, they are, they're really invested in what's going on in the city, no yeah. matter how big they get. Yeah. And I feel like... I don't know, man. Like, I feel like sometimes I need to, I want to take that responsibility to let niggas know, like, yo, it's niggas here for mm -hmm. real. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, like my, man, my manager was on um, Wayno. You know what I'm saying? Like, who hosts um, Everyday I remember Struggle. That too. I remember yeah. that, yo. I remember I, that. Because that was early on when I didn't really know who Wayno was for real. Yeah, but yeah, I, yeah. I remember seeing y'all names attached. I remember mm -hmm. that. And fuck, speaking, speaking, I remember. Speaking of this show, 2016. Okay. Trap John was on that show as well. Okay. You feel me? Him and Mikey at the time was doing music together. This shit was fire, fucking phenomenal for real. Mm -hmm. So, I I had already knew Trap John. Like, we had history or whatever. And as far as from 2016 to now, to when we did that battle. Mm -hmm. So, I already know what Trap John is capable of. And I, I've listened to the music over the years and how he's developed for real. And because this is what I forgot we was fucking talking about. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I forgot. So... When we did the battle, it was crazy because Justice, Justice is um like CEO just, of the demo tape. Justice okay, guy. I just got acquainted with Justice. Yeah, I so he, talking to Justice. he hated demo tape and shit. And I had just I had, like people may not know if they watched the little battles that the demo tape was doing, the fight night joints, um, that me and Finagle Baby sparked it off. So we me and Finagle Baby did the very first one. And we didn't even do it under I mean, the, um, the yeah, we title. didn't. No, no, it was just me and him. Like he said something on Twitter, like, "Hey, I want to go." I'm like, "Shit, what's up?" Like, and we did it. So, like a week goes by, and um, Justice hit my phone. He like, "Yo, you just got called out." Like a nigga want want go song for song with you. I'm like, 
I'm like, damn, like, I just went last week. Like, yeah, like who? I'm like, who? Uh, He's like, yo, it's Trap. I'm like, damn. Mind you, I just sent Trap some shit to get on, like, probably like a month ago prior to this going on, for real. Uh, so I was like, well, shit, I can't turn it down. Like, I'm like, come on, like, we're going to do it. It's going to be whatever it's going to be. And, like, we hit numbers bigger than the very first time me and Finagle did it. And I was like, damn, like, that's tough as shit. Like, I think, uh, like, not at one time, but I definitely think my, um... My, my analytics said we had like 250 like come in and out of the fucking in and out, in and out. yeah okay, like okay. so I was like damn 250 that like lay eyes on this shit was hard like that's dope, that man. shit fries look at friends what's so crazy is like like I said I go back to that Phil Jackson philosophy and shit <laughs> I like based off of this shit I heard from you I was like yo Chris got it. You feel me? He got range. You're like trap, just, just it seemed like he just raps, but he got yeah. a lot of flows. Yeah, he do. Which is he dope do. with him. He do. He got a lot yeah. of flows, but yeah. Chris got range. But I was just like, yo, why the fuck? Trap John is playing some hard ass shit, but you, you was I'm playing coming crazy. Like, yeah. I'm coming crazy. I you said playing I'm like right? the, you playing like the uh, the melodic shit. Yeah, I'm like, I was like, I... go back to the rap shit, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> I feel you. But it was like for me, it was like. I could I could do this off the bars or I could do it off the range. Like how, what type what, what type of fight I'm trying to have? You know what I'm saying? I felt like the melody shit was a was a Mayweather shoulder roll. You know no, what I'm saying? No, for real, it was. That's but how I felt. You got the young niggas that don't really res don't really understand what it takes to create the yeah, different shit. Yeah, yeah. You're I right. do. You right. But You're I right. know, You're like right. as far as like judging from a like these niggas, just like I want to hear some. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That same, like, yeah, I feel like, like I that. Feel That's what they want to hear. So, you know, when you come up with the melodic shit, niggas ain't even going to respect that shit. Yeah, but I, I know that you. shit. That shit is harder to make than the rap shit. To, yeah, to, yeah. It got to it got to come with a, 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 a little bit more, like, detailed, mm -hmm. substantial type of, like, yeah. approach. You know the writing saying? style different. The yeah, writing style definitely. Is even if, different. Yeah, even if you stretch words out, you like writing R B records is way harder than writing rap because yeah. rap is just what you do. You ain't lying. You, you know ain't what I'm lying. And, and you know what? I actually had like the opportunity to write for a singer like one time, mm -hmm. and you know what I mean. Like the song came together well, but I, my process is a little like different. Like, cause to me, when I do the melody stuff, I'm still rapping, but it just. I just do it, like, I express it differently. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I view it in my head. But when I was writing for Shorty, it was like, I had to ask her certain questions. Like, what's something that been on your head lately? Mm -hmm. How did that make you feel? Mm -hmm. What exactly transpired for real? Okay. And we just had to, like, I was slowly but surely, like, just building a timeline and finding, like, what emotion she had as it went. And then I pieced together my words and put the story together that way for real, so... You feel me? Like I, I actually seen you that shit like like yeah, yeah. the day for because that shit was cool. I think it's still on SoundCloud, but it was like that was my very first time doing it. And for a little while, I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep rapping or get into writing. You know what stopped me? You can do both though. True, but what stopped me was the bag because I I I was I was because all right. So my um my homegirl No Face Nah, mm -hmm. she had um the opportunity to intern for Atlantic. Okay. Um, I think like it probably was like a year ago now, and she, you know, she was just explain, explaining to me the basic contracts that they give out for writers and shit, and I was just like, ain't no bread right now. Like I, I, I feel like if I solidify myself as an artist and then go write a track, the bag might be different. A little different. So I'm like, right, yeah, I'm right, like, right, right now, I don't think it's worth it. Like at the place I'm at in my life right now, I don't think it would be worth it to like sacrifice all these things I got going on to go like potentially make this like nah yeah it's like 2k like like yeah. you know like on the 2k my player you gotta build your word you gotta get you know a certain amount of fans like you gotta get your you badges got... and all yeah, that yeah. like my nigga like <laughs> negotiate your contract yeah like no yeah for sure um god damn bro well listen i want to allude to this though mm -hmm. um bay man yeah cam miss mm -hmm. cam bro mm-hmm it's not a touchy subject. We can talk about it. All right. Look, I'll let that girl I'm move whole heart. I'm going to tell you this, bro. I think she's the best rapper in the city right now. I do, too. Okay. Yeah, I okay. do, too. I tell her all the time, like, shit, you better at this than I am. Like, I, I could give you some guidance and, like, the things that you don't know, but, nah, you, like, you you might blow me out in the water on a, on a good day. Like, yeah, like. She dope, bro. Yeah. You dope. Yeah. You dope as shit. Yeah, I know. But, but, hey, yeah, I tell me. I tell you all the time, yeah, like. Yeah. 
Y'all brands are different. Yeah, for so sure. So I got I sure. can't really judge it on no couple shit. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? Like she 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 been dope. You know what I'm saying? Like and with the branding, it was like I'm I'm really that's one thing I'm really grateful for that we was able to remain separate entities. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Because people, I think over time people like you know what I mean from, from seeing us at shows and seeing us at the crown and things like that. I think people gained a certain amount of respect for us prior to all that. As, as what we was doing by ourselves mm-hmm. You feel me So when it came to like that You know We was a thing They still have that same respect For me as a solo artist And her as a solo artist yeah. So it never gets crossed No no You know what I'm saying Cause you, you, you It Bro <laughs> You 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 not a far cry away From her Her Her, her, her ability to, to rap Yeah It's yeah. just that like What with, with, Like me and my homeboy Um by the way, Miss Cam is from over west, for real. You feel Here me? We you go. Feel, you know what I'm saying? So hey, yeah, hey, listen. Me. Hey, listen. I ain't from over west, bro. All I'm going to say is I got a bad one, and she came to the best side to get her one. That's hey, all I'm going to say. I ain't mad at that. That's all I'm going to say. But for real, bro, I just want to say this. Through all the shit that, the bullshit that I experienced, the bullshit mm-hmm. that y'all might experience, please, like... You know, just make sure y'all foundation is strong enough to like fuck all that noise, or whatever oh, bullshit. Sure. You know for what I'm sure. saying? You know what I mean? Cause I, we ain't we ain't we ain't here to 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 pass each other up on on for some clout. We not we not that ain't right. What it is. Yeah like, yeah yeah. You know what I'm saying? Me and my girl talk about shit that you know what I mean. The average ain't getting ready to discuss. We talk about generational curses and yeah, things yeah, that yeah. might might have stemmed from our childhood that we need to work on and. You know what I'm saying? How can we how can we get this certain amount of money and make it flip into this certain amount of money and you know what I'm saying? The houses that we trying to buy and build yeah, and things yeah. of that nature, like it's a little different. She seems like socially aware. Oh, for and sure. And that's one thing that I like. She really, a caveman though, but for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, but, <laughs> but one thing I do respect about her is like I clearly she's born in like the mid nineties. Mm-hmm. But she her head is strong, you feel me? And she dope as a bitch, bro. Yeah. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to have her on the show. That's okay with you. Uh, <laughs> come on, man. Come on. I man, said I'm... we are all entities when it comes to this music shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, yeah. for sure. I mean, uh, if you yeah. need me to talk to her to do it, because I'm when I say she a caveman, I'm saying you'll send her an email, a DM or something, and you won't hit back from her for about a week. She's yeah. a caveman like that. I- so if I you need remember, me to hit, if you need me to holler at her like, yo, I need you to sit down and talk. To, yeah. But I mean, you know what? I don't know, man. Like, I, sometimes I underestimate my my pool, I guess. Because mm-hmm. she used to send me music like a year and a half ago. Mm-hmm. She sent me some shit. So, I mean, but again, like, one thing about me, like, I don't step on tools. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. it's easier to get on the show from, like, just you telling her. Yeah. That's fine, for real, for real. Uh-huh. But that's one she, thing with her. All right, that's how a lot of things go ahead lately. People be like, you know what? I sent that text, da, 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 machine of it. Can you? I be like, I, I roll <laughs> over like, babe. Such and such hit your phone Monday, yeah, yeah. and it's Saturday. You ain't hit him back yet. They trying to get you. To, yeah, oh, you, I do it. All right. You like the manager and shit, <laughs> like, yo? It, but it's unintentionally. No, no, no. I get it, bro. I get it, bro. Like <laughs> on some shit. Like no, nah, I really love what the fuck is going on between both of y'all. You yeah, feel me, like? Yeah, man. Y'all, yo, just, just like, yo, for real, man. Like, I ain't gonna tell you nothing that you don't already know, man. Like, mm-hmm. you, you know, man. You're like your girlfriend is the the best rapper in the city for yeah, real. I you feel what I'm saying? Not, like, yeah, but sure. it, it's not even just that. It's just fuck that shit. Like, yo, you got a girl, yo. Like, just, just do right. You feel what I'm mm-hmm, saying? Like, mm-hmm. make mm-hmm. sure y'all, y'all, y'all good, man. Even happy wife, happy life. Man. For for real, bro. Yeah, like, I don't know. No, Real shit, like I know, yeah. <laughs> dealing with a woman, dealing with a woman is just hard. It's it, I ain't gonna say it's hard. It's challenging. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And even like she ain't even like had no kids yet and shit. Like no, that's no. a whole different dynamic. But yeah. she loved the fuck out you, and I can tell. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. That's a dope shit about her. like as 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 hot as she is, she makes sure like. Y'all gonna know my nigga too. Yeah, you know what I'm sure, saying. Sure, That's yeah, what I respect yeah. about her. Like, hell yeah. you wanna know about my nigga, hell and yeah. I don't give a fuck. Like, if the shit don't, you know, cause social media is finicky. Like, it's it's fundamentally flawed. Like, yeah, you yeah. can have three thousand followers, and then sometimes like you only get a hundred likes for like a post. Right. Yeah, I got. And by the way, this is like a new 
Instagram page I made, like my shit, like I might get a cool 90 or 170. Right. And right. I only got like 600 followers. Right. So okay. it's like, okay. it's fundamentally flawed. Shit, that means a lot of your people active then, bro. <laughs> and that's the thing that I try that's to concentrate me. on. Like, yeah. I try to concentrate on, like, I pay attention to the analytics. Like, yo. I'm only gonna follow people that fuck with me. Yeah, no, I feel. I'm you. not on no team follow back. Whereas though, like, you know what I'm saying? Like back then, like when I had a girl and I was just following bitches. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Rick, but Rick, <laughs> I just got you. Oh my god. I just got in so much trouble. <laughs> I just got. See, I just got. See, yo, I got chewed out by some shit on the ground over there, and they were just like, damn. But like, I had to really sit back and be like, yo, I got. I like. And that's the is, thing. If you still getting chewed out. Nigga, she fucking love you, bro. So, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, get yeah. your shit together. Yeah. <laughs> like, just, oh, no. Believe me. Sign still delivered. <laughs> yeah. It took that one conversation. I'm like, yeah, let's pack that up. <laughs> Let go with friends. I'm a, I'm an Aries. I was born um April 11th. You feel me? 94. And she's a Gemini for real. Her birthday's actually coming up in a couple weeks. I know Gemini. It's only male Gemini. I think my bro, uh, Devin Allen, is a Gemini. Devin a Gemini? I ain't yeah, know that, for yeah, real. Kid Allen. I mean, <laughs> Kid, Kid Balloon. You know Kid Balloon? Oh, he's a Gemini, too? He's a Gemini, too, bro. Damn. And me and them niggas used to be, like, out there, for real. Like, <laughs> nigga. Hey, bro. Them niggas is Gemini, they, so they I like, can only imagine what a female Gemini they, is like, yo. She, oh, my she, fucking. She's really a light switch. Like, it's like, bro, and what you get is, is like, you got to be able to, is that motherfucker, Gemini, boy, I'm nigga. telling you. But at the end of the day, I ain't gonna, I told her this the other day. I said, yo, I said, you know, all the shit you give me, yo, I hope your fans really appreciate who you who you are to them. Because they don't deal with all this other shit I do. But at the same time, <laughs> at the same time, yo, one thing I had to learn as I got older, yo, was like love is really, it really boils down to whose shit you willing to deal with. You know what I'm saying? Like that, I feel like that's like the blunt, like fine print. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Of love, like on, on that receipt, that's the blunt fine print. You know what I'm saying? So it, it it's like... As time goes on, I don't even look at it as dealing with somebody's shit. It's just mm -hmm. learning a person. You know what I'm saying? You Once you learn that person and they learn you, y'all help each other improve and y'all get through different things that y'all would have never done day one, week one, month one, you know what I mean? Year mm -hmm. one or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's just all about growth together for real. So, you know what I mean? That's dope, bro. For real. But you know the craziest thing about that? Mm -hmm. Everybody perception of love is different for sure which means love really don't have a concrete definition sometimes if i ask you like if i were to ask you like what you love about her mm -hmm. or give you five things mm -hmm. you really had to think about it not and that's not because you don't really know but sometimes love is just indescribable like yeah for sure it's just like some shit you feel inside yeah. you yeah. feel what i'm saying it ain't enough words it ain't enough words. Yeah. And then once you get to that point, you know you really love this woman. Yeah. This woman you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um, again, like, like sometimes I be telling my girl, like, I tell her, like, once I'm in, like, in my feelings and I can really just reflect on, like, how dope of a woman she is, I can really tell her personally. Mm -hmm. But if sometimes, sometimes somebody be like, what you love about her? I be like, yo, she just fucking dope. Yeah, it'd be one and that's too, just it. It'd be one too many <laughs> things, bro. Like, it'd just be like, nigga. If I could allow you to experience this without experiencing her, but experience it with, with another, like, if I could fathom that for you and put it there, like, yeah. I would. But, like, bro, like, that shit just different. Like, it's a whole, you know what I'm like, saying? That, that shit, shit is uh, different. Like, the way this started, bro, we never had intentions on, you know what I'm saying? Like, we did a song together. Yeah, like, like how, the fuck, how the fuck that started? Because, so, I think I remember when I was following her, mm -hmm. she ain't, you were right in the it. picture, no, you feel me? So, how the fuck? Does this nigga Chris oh, Cash just get dead? You so, feel me? Like we got. So, yeah. You feel me? It, it, it comes off of, off of the back end of a, of a bullshit, like not a bullshit, but a, of a, it comes off the back. You being end. a nigga, it comes off yeah, in a sense, but it comes off the back end of a failed relationship as well. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I was me, me and Scotty Banks. You feel me? If, if people don't know, that's my engineer. He's been my engineer for like Seen since the name like. Before. 2015 he's been my engineer okay. girl, so that's where my sound comes from so you feel me man what people mean also not know is that we 
from time to time work on joint projects, which are um, called the uh, uh, fuck we six banks. That's what we go by. Cause I'm 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 Chris Cashes. I go six. by six bricks. Six, and okay. you feel me? He's Scotty Banks. So you feel me? Those the series of projects is called Six Banks and whatever else we decide to put the title on. But me and yo was working on the first one. We had this song, you know what I'm saying? Me and yo put a verse on it. It had enough room for another verse. At this point in time, Cam was dropping her Freestyle Fridays. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm hearing them. I'm listening to them. Mm-hmm. Like, that shit turns you on like, damn, she... <laughs> but, but, <laughs> listen, I, I explained it to her how it went, for real. I was like, I had to keep it business. Because at the time, at the time, yo, I was on that like, oh, I'm, stop. I'm trying not to be out here just in everyone's face. Yeah, like, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, I'm yeah, trying yeah, to yeah. stop doing that. I want to have platonic relationships with females. I just need to stop, so... That was like me trying. I was like, so when we get into it, I I had no intention of what came. Like it was business. I went, scooped her. We go to the studio. She raps her verse. You, and you watching in that fucking that booth? No, no. Because to be honest, show. <laughs> because to be honest, this was so early on in her rap, and she was nervous, and she was doing her thing in there. And I think at one point I went in there with her, but you know what I'm saying? We um, you feel me? She hit the verse down, and it was cool. You know what I'm saying? She had recorded it. It was cool. Um, you feel me? Somebody come scoop her for real and she dips. So like Why you let a nigga scoop her, yo? Why you let the Uber? It was both no, it bro. wasn't even a it wasn't an Uber. It wasn't an <laughs> okay, Uber. Okay, okay, I don't okay. know who it wasn't an Uber. You that feel me? It could have been who she was dealing with at the time. Yeah, yeah. But like I said, I went into it with business. You know what I'm saying? So a few months go by, you feel me? Things transpire, you know. And we, we, sometimes we hear, sometimes we not hear, you know what I'm saying? But it's nobody's business. Nobody knows that, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Like nobody has any idea. Everybody, everybody's belief of me and her dealing with each other is what social media shows. That's just it. Mm-hmm. So you feel me? A few months go by, you know what I mean? And then over time, you know how it is with rap. You, your skills is going up and up and up and you working on it and working on it. Mm-hmm. And she finally, um, actually... Scotty didn't like her initial verse. So I, I talked to her about it and over time she didn't like it as well. So I set up a whole nother studio session and she went in, did this verse where she's oh my god, she said something about her having the best verses and then went like John Luke Peter Paul or some shit. Like Bible shit. <laughs> and I, I was sitting in the studio like this motherfucker. Like and I said, you know, normally. I would go back and change my verse, but this, I'm gonna let this rock. I like this. <laughs> so, you yeah. feel me? She does that, then, you know, over time, things just become what they become for real. And, you know, we here now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we here man. now. Listen. And to this point, we don't really, one thing I will say is, we don't oversaturate it. Like, we know we both artists and we do what we do. We go to the studio together, we watch each other record and things like that. But we don't over access each other. Like, we don't say, like, oh, you sit right here, do the second verse. Like, we don't do things like that. Mm -hmm. So, we keep it in moderation. And so far, keeping it that way has gave us the ability to, every time we do say, let's do this, it's a really good fucking song. You know what I'm saying? Like, it always comes out really, really fucking good. Can you send me that shit you played? Um, when you, when you was bad. Oh, oh yeah. I won't send nobody this. No, I promise. Oh, yeah. I swear oh, to God. Yeah. Oh yeah, that shit called. I don't. It's, I it's, haven't it's, sent nobody no music. I, I it's not, called 2020. Okay. You feel me? We made that shit like I think December of 2019, and you know what I mean. I just went into my verse trying to just speak some positive affirmation. Hey yo, <laughs> if she killed you, she killed. Oh wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. Me personally, I don't think Cam has smoked me on any track yet. Probably besides the very first one we did with Scotty. Her verse was crazy. But okay. I told myself I'm not gonna go back and change my verse. I like this for real. I went into it with a sort of 
like related relatable ignorance. Like that's how I approach the track. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So what she did with it was what she did, and I respected it. I left it at that. But since we've been making music together, like at this point, since we we've been together, I feel like we've just made great music. I don't think we we outdid each other. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. opinions gonna be what they gonna be or whatever. But that's just a personal perception. But of course, she hey, hey, fire you know that, the bitch is gonna be like, yeah, he, you kill that nigga. Yo, of course, and I respect it. I ain't mad at it. Because at the end of the day, you feel me? That's my girlfriend. The yeah. more the more you click on her shit, the more you help in my pockets too. So click away, baby. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. There you go. <laughs> click away. Man, man, this shit y'all did on um T I Lee. Mm-hmm. And uh, shout out to T I Lee, cause I met this nigga, I met this nigga like <sighs> fuck when I met this nigga. I'm <sighs> bro, hold on. Give me a second. Mm-hmm. I've seen the nigga on Twitter. I clicked on this shit. Mm-hmm. And I was blown the fuck away. Mm-hmm. Normally, I'm always like, when I think I'm like the only nigga on this island, mm-hmm. and I click <laughs> on some yeah. nigga shit and be like, yeah. okay, I ain't the only nigga on this island. No, I gotta meet this nigga. Yeah, so T is like that, bro. Yeah, that's my and, that's my man. T and, like that. Yeah, he he a producer, and mm-hmm. I started like a lot of niggas don't even know. Like I started producing before I was rapping. Oh yeah. Oh, for I, sure. I didn't know that. I was producing. I got some shit for real. I, it's on YouTube. I can send you out the right mm-hmm. But it's, it, I know how to make though. beats. I ain't know that. I ain't know yeah, that. Yeah, I know how to make beats. So that's where my um, <clears throat> strength is in picking beats came okay. from. Because okay. I know how to make beats. Because you was making them, yeah. Right. So when so I'm you, picking you beats, it's like... The structures and shit. It's exactly. So I met this nigga. Um, I hit him up like, yo, like, yo, I fuck with your shit. On, on like, again, our Twitter. He was like, "All right, well, nigga, well, I'm free this day. I'll come scoop you. You know what I'm saying? Where you work out to? Where I work at for real? This was like, I don't want to be wrong. I, I want to say three, maybe four years ago. Wow. He scooped me from work. Maybe five years ago. Because when I'm thinking that when I was working at this um company, the Arca Baltimore, fuck it, I'll put it out there. <laughs> I was um, it might have been like five. Six years ago. Okay. Okay. This is pre whatever the fuck T I L E is now. Shh, right? right. But now, then I know. I know. I know. I'm so but this is five years, six years ago. He scooped me. Nigga in the passenger side named Dewey. My nigga. Shout out to Dewey. <laughs> Both of them my, niggas were together. My niggas, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They they yeah you know I'm saying we went to the nigga apartment. <clears throat> mm-hmm. And what's so funny, let's fast forward to the battle and shit. Now, let's rewind. When I went to this nigga apartment, he playing me some records. Okay. Then I'm playing him some records. Okay. He playing me some records. I ain't even know play- y'all knew each other. That's crazy. Yeah, I met this nigga years ago. Like, yo, wow. I'm in, like, I, I really be in tune, yes, yo, as sir. much as I can be. Yo, that's a nigga I see, like. Every so often throughout the week, every Bro, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, T. so like, I'm like, damn, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, T.I. Lee, yo, he dope as shit. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Even though that nigga tried to charge me for some beats, but it's okay. <laughs> that's okay. He ain't know, he ain't know what it was back then, but it's, but, but, it, but it's cool. But we, we just going back and forth, record for record for record for record, and we just like blown away from just like what the fuck we play each other. Like, this is 15, 16. And like, I'm like, nigga, like, it's niggas from my era, my generation that is dope as fuck to me, but nigga, like, you are nice as a bitch. Nigga with friends. I've seen T run around the house grabbing pots, pans, and whatever he gets his hands on and recording the sounds and putting them in sequences and making these phenomenal ass tracks that just like, it's live instrument fucking tation. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've seen it. You know what I mean? Like, the way he layer these tracks out. When he get in there, he sing these vocals. And you know what I mean? Like, yo, it's just crazy I to fucking know. watch. And it's super, super, super inspiring. Like, super inspiring. Like, yo, I, that's one thing I will say. And and, and I'm, I'm not even going to just speak to, to, to what Cam does. But being around their collective, which is a uh, plug. Which stands for people like us global. Okay. You feel me? Being around that collective of uh uh T I Lee, Miss Cam, Dewey, Zig, 40, 
mm-hmm. being around these people and watching how they work and like seeing like the processes that they take to put these things together, yo, it's been super fucking inspiring. And I think that shit has done nothing but help me in 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 you know what I mean what I do. No. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit has done nothing but help me for real. So like it's just like watching them work, bro, is just crazy. Like and like 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 we talked about with T, like, yo, that project you just put out, since we're being honest, if you haven't heard it, please go get it. Me and Cam are featured on my year. Uh, so uh, dope is a bitch. Uh, uh, what the fuck? Uh, so fucking, dope is a bitch. What's a, what's what can I tag this on? A, uh, I don't know. A, a side note, I actually did the hook. I had that hook. Ah, oh, I had that. So hard for that. Yo, I had that. that I, I had that hook intended for a different beat, and he he got a beat from my man Good Boy, which mm-hmm. I I also met through them. But shout out to Good Boy. He had the beat, and we were sitting there. He like, you feel me, just trying to figure out what he want to do with it. And I'm sitting there, and I'm singing it in my head. I'm like, damn. And I'm like, you know, like, the key of that particular beat wasn't the one I had for it originally. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, yo, like, this is the hook. I'm going to sing it, but I think you would sound better doing it. So I yeah, sang that's it, what he does. And he went back, and he, like, you know what I mean, picked up the octave, and he got into it. And I just did the fucking ad libs and that shit fire. And that bro. and that's what comes from like teamwork, y'all. Like, like yo, yep. you created a fucking exactly, great song, yo. yo. Exactly. And it's like nobody exactly. really need to know who the fuck made the hook, who the fuck even wrote what what which what, what, what yeah, what, you know what, what I'm saying? Y'all, and, y'all gotta create. Y'all and, and created a great song. That's just speaking to you. Gotta be willing to help each other. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be willing to put forth to to another niggas uh, a canvas. To come out with some good music, you know what I'm saying? Niggas may have never known that, you know what I'm saying? And that wasn't that wasn't me saying I, I want the credit for that. That's me saying to anybody that's watching this, and they may think in their head like, "Yo, I don't want to give my man's this hook, or I don't want to tell him, yo, use this bar in the beginning to start shit, the song." Yo. Fuck it, because at the end of the day, fuck that shit. Man. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, fuck that shit, think about man. how many, think about how many, the biggest songs in the world, my nigga. The greatest songs in the world like a, was not put together by one nigga no, nine times out like, of ten. If you go to title, it was like ten fucking writers. Bro, yes. You yes. feel me? That's that's so much that's music that our mothers play, our grandmothers play, like all that shit. It was composed from from hella different minds, my nigga. Like you just gotta be willing to work with each other. You feel yeah, me? Like so that's that's the message I'm giving with that. Like be willing to work with your peers. Be willing to get out here and put forth to what they trying to create. Because at the end of the day, you feel me? We all out here for we need to be all out here for the same cause, that's which true. is you know what I mean. The, the greater good of music, like music, move niggas' lives. Like you gotta be willing to put that forth. That message that was in that hook, you feel me? I know for a fact it's gonna get somebody through their day. Yeah. I don't give a fuck who said it, but it need to be said. You know what I'm saying? And I heard what I heard. He was working on what he was working on. I'm like, shit, fuck it. Let's do this. You know what I'm saying? And it worked. Like, that shit, the song is really fucking good. Like, it worked. And shout out to George. Um, I don't want to say his name wrong. I haven't met him. This is, uh, um, he's like a plug affiliate for real. I believe his name is George Lovett. Mm-hmm. And he's a singer. He's the singer. Like, I don't know if you remember offhand, but he did the... the, the, the y- yes, yo, yes. Yo, yo, yo. Nigga, he fire. I'm like, yo, this song, <laughs> this is a fucking record, yo. Yeah. And sometimes I be thinking like, yo, when niggas meet this record, this is like, this is a record like niggas should tuck in. Yes, sir. But <laughs> fuck it. Like, these n- niggas are so talented. Like, you, like, just put the shit out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this yeah. is what niggas got to offer. Because... Cause you can do it again, for sure. I, that's one thing I always keep in mind. Like, like I used to think after I made a project, made a song, like, what the fuck I'm gonna rap about next. But I had to keep in mind I could do this shit all over again for real. Do it again, but, yo. You got it. And and George, he didn't get on the track for like a little while because he wasn't in town. He was actually doing the um the Kanye uh Sunday. What is it? The Sunday Sunday's Sunday more, service. Sunday service. Sunday. So he was singing. In the choir on Sunday service with Kanye West wow. for real, so we had to wait until he had he was available to come in town and lay them vocals down. And I believe he's from here. I believe he's from here. But again, I ain't met him yet personally, so I don't know you know all the details. But I do. Flex. You know he was he was on he was on tour with Kanye, okay. and that's why he couldn't do it right away for real. So. God damn. <laughs> hey, look, listen, man. That's all I gotta talk about, man. Anything that you want to tell the people, like. 
where to follow you in and shit like that. All right, so I'm going to say a few things. I'm going to start with mm -hmm. one. If you ain't heard since we're being honest by T.I. Lee, please go listen to that for real. That's a great body of work. For sure. I don't think too many niggas coming out of the Baltimore making sounds that sound like that for real. Mm -hmm. Um, Two, Miss Cam is dropping a project on the 27th of May. So I'm not going to give y'all the title because I don't think she gave y'all the, yeah, I don't think she gave y'all the title yet. So I'm going to just say, you feel me? Like for all the people out there, because I, I heard this over the years and mm -hmm. from the beginning, I was on the bandwagon, even when we wasn't a thing. I was on the bandwagon because I know what it's like to just be starting music and I know what it grows into for real. Okay. So, and I, I even said this to her. I feel like we all start off just rapping at the beat. You know what I'm saying? We mm -hmm. all do that. But mm -hmm. then once you grow into making a song, the the skill that you had rapping at the beat just evolves. So she came out on a on a on a tier of rapping at the beat that was already crazy. So making a song, that shit nuts. So make sure May 27th. Hey Miss Cam on Twitter, Instagram, and all that good shit. That that uh the EP is coming. Make sure y'all go get that. Um I want that bitch. Yeah, you know I mean, download it, <laughs> stream that motherfucker, <laughs> send it to your grandmother, your great grandmother, your uncle, your aunt, your hey, sister, yo. your brother, your cousin. Do all that shit, and and it don't take no 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 motherfucking corona to do it because you can social distancely send that motherfucker through text. Don't you know send it to your great grandmother. Send it no, fuck we send it to your grandmother. All right. <laughs> she could she could she, she could, might. Your she grandmother get, might have been born in the in the seventies. Yeah, she could use a little pick me up. She she'd be around the house happy as shit with Corona outside, but she can't come outside. She be around there dancing the Hey Miss Cam. Um <laughs> I just released a compilation called um it's it's DBS slash okay. Carl Malone. Make sure you'll get that motherfucker. Um I Chris put up crack clack. Oh, he's drunk. Chris Cashes. It's Chris C H R I S like Chris Brown. And then it's Cassius, like Cassius Clay, C-A-S-S-I-U-S. -S -S. You know what I'm saying? So go follow me on everything at that. And make sure you put an underscore between the two names on all social media platforms. Are you good? And you know what I'm saying? I, I got projects everywhere. I mean, do your Googles, baby. If you get my name. And long story, if you want to simplify, six bricks. Six B-R-I-X-X-X. -X -X. That's a whole lot. But if y'all rewind this video and slow it down, you'll mm -hmm. figure it out. And another thing I want to uh, uh, conclude to this nigga, I went on his Facebook for real. Mm, mm, this mm. nigga deleted a lot of shit from his SoundCloud, but we ain't gonna get into that for real. For yeah, real, I ain't know you went. Yeah, on I, I did some research. I, I had to do some research. Do I went through? I went through a brief period. You feel me? And transitioning to a boy to a man, and it was just like, damn, I wanted to get rid of all the old shit, so I deleted it. And I ain't gonna lie, yo, I will say, and because this is something I experienced for real. So to the to the young niggas coming up, don't go back and delete all your shit. Leave that you shit back. Because you I not. actually have a female fan. Oh, I can't think off the top of my head where she's from, but she's probably she probably been following my career since I was like 16, 17. And one thing that she's always said to me yo, was she wished that the shit that she heard when I started was still there. And I deleted all that shit. You don't know what I'm saying? It. So Make sure you get these, leave these people a footprint, bro. Yeah. Because you ain't going to be here forever. Leave these people. For the, sure. Don't, don't have step it. Give them the whole footprint, my nigga. You want to get better. You feel what I'm saying? Don't be ashamed of the shit that you introduced the world to. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They need to see your progression. Mm -hmm. And then when they see your progression, they can honestly appreciate your progression. For sure. For real. For sure. Liquor with Friends, episode eight. Nigga, yes, Chris Cash is bitch. Yes. Liquor with Friends.